Um, they went in and basically vacuum cleaned uh, a lot of pieces of bone that was floating around in there. Uh, I was a little bit nervous because they didn't really know if I was going to be gone six months or six weeks. Um, but when I woke, woke up, I got some good news. So I'm, I feel very good about what happened and, and the surgery went well. So I'm very happy and very um, have a good feeling going back home to Sweden and know the shoulder is 100% now. Um, obviously, we, we don't want to be in this position again and when we have time to, to do a surgery this time of year. But that's what it was. and. and this worked out really well. So is this, it's just a carryover from the other surgery you had years ago, the, these bone chips and whatever? Yeah, it was um, a lot of stuff going on in there. It's been going on for, for many, many years. But obviously last year was not a, a good time to go in and have a shoulder surgery, right, when we were in the playoffs. And, and like I said, I just want to go home and have a really good off season. And it feels very good to go home and know the shoulder's going to be 100%, so I don't have to go through this again when with medication and injections and, and play some bad hockey because I don't want to have any excuses, but it's tough to play when you're not 100%. Um, and I obviously want to be on the ice and, and have an effect on the, on, on the ice and help the guys. What couldn't you do this year because of the shoulder? Um, it's tough to say, but everybody knows it's a physical game out there, and especially for the defensemen to, to um, block out a lot of players. It's a fast game out there, so you got to you got to use your arms a lot and, and position yourself in a, in a good way. Um, obviously, the shot was affected. Um, but like I said, I don't want to have any excuses. Um, I had a tough start of the season, uh, but now I'm looking forward to, to the next season because it's going, to be, it's going to be fun to go over to Europe and kick off the season there. Uh, it's going to be very important to be, to be ready right off the bat here. Oscar, some uh, opposing guys even maybe they felt that there was times where they could see you were protecting your shoulder. Obviously, there was a, was a lot of pain. It just it limits what you want to do in a game, but what about in your head? Did you find at times you were hesitating to, to go into a battle just because you you knew the shoulder wasn't as strong? Yeah, I think it's almost more mentally than it is physically. If you know you're not 100% and you have a little bumps and bruises, you, you want to protect yourself. And, um, back in the beginning of the season, I didn't really know how bad it really was. And, and it was like, if I get hit now, maybe I'm going to... I'm going to be out the rest of the season and cannot really be out there and help the guys. Um, and especially when that tough start, I wanted to help the guys and be on the winning track again and go to playoffs because that was our goal. Um, but like I said, that's ha that happened and now I got the surgery done and it feels very good right now. Will it impact your fishing ability? In the <laughs> I don't know about that. It should be good. Hopefully it's good. I catch a, a lot of big fishes, so we'll see. So you're the big wheel when the team plays over in the Sweet. Uh, you or Lars or who's yeah, we'll the see fans about that. To watch you play? Yeah, we, obviously it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, just watching all those Swedes playing over there in Stockholm, it's been it's been just uh, a dream. Uh, and now we can do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of friends and family there, and, and it's going to be a, a memory to remember. How perplexing just was the whole PK? Obviously, it was not where we wanted to be. Uh, if you're going to go to the finals and win the cup, you really need to have um, the special teams working. And the power play and the, the, the PK has not been good enough this year. Uh, and especially something we need to improve for, for the upcoming season if we're going to if we're gonna go far in the playoffs. Going back to your shoulder, how long is that going to keep you out of like training and weight training and all that? It's, it's been two weeks now, and uh, it's still going to be a little bit of a, a swelling in the shoulder, uh, shoulder joint, what I've heard. So it's going to be three, four weeks, and then I should be good to start lifting weights and get back to the normal.